Welcome back to the official D5 render tutorial series. In this lesson, I'll introduce you to the general rendering workflow of D5 render. From preparation, to rendering, to your final output. I'll be demonstrating this workflow with a daytime scene. In architecture and interior design, the most commonly used modeling applications are 3ds Max, SketchUp, and Rhino. In this video I'll be covering the D5 workflows for 3ds Max and SketchUp. Let's start with 3ds Max. The first thing you should do is go to D5 Render's official website and click download. Then scroll to the bottom of the page and there you'll find all the converters. Download and install the D5 converter for 3ds Max. When the converter has been installed, you can see D5's toolbar inside of 3ds Max and you can start D5 directly in Max using Live Sync. This converter is also capable of syncing cameras and lights, polygon reduction, and converting Max models to SketchUp SKP models or D5 Render D5A models. D5 Converter for 3ds Max enables designers using Max to move their workflows into D5 Render with ease. Next up is SketchUp. To download the converter, you can refer to the same steps for downloading D5 Converter for 3ds Max. Before rendering, make sure to check all the UVs of the models. Pay close attention to surface orientation, and make sure the model's face normals are oriented correctly. You also need to avoid using models with broken or overlapping surfaces. With all the models checked, let's get started. Step 1, start D5 directly using the D5 converter for 3ds Max or SketchUp. This is a quick and easy step but remember to save your D5 file right after D5 is started. Step 2, create at least one camera in D5. You can toggle on composition lines in D5 and switch to two-point perspective or F8, which makes composition very easy. Step 3, adjust the natural lighting. If you are rendering a daytime scene, you should pay attention to the sun and sky. D5's default environment is natural enough to deliver an incredibly immersive scene. Step 4. Creating Artificial Lighting If you are rendering a nighttime scene or one of an enclosed space, you can add artificial lights to the scene. D5 comes with a large selection of lights for any of your lighting needs. Step 5. Adjusting Materials D5 Render uses the PBR, Physically Based Rendering, material system which is now widely used in the gaming, film, and television industries. We'll learn more about it in Lesson 5. Step 6. Post-production. You can adjust the exposure, contrast, saturation, and many other image parameters in D5. These are simple adjustments, but save you the trouble of doing post-processing in an image editor such as Photoshop. And Step 7. Creating rendered output. You can render multiple images, panoramas, or videos at the same time with D5's render queue rendering. D5 also supports channel options including Material ID, Ambient Occlusion, RT Reflection, Alpha Mask, Trans Mask, etc., which can greatly help with your image post-processing. Okay, that's it for today. In the next lesson, we'll start making an interior scene. Thanks for watching, see you next time!